Hey guys, back for another beer review. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do a few of these during the week uh, when I get an opportunity just because I got so many beers lined up to review, guys. So uh, I'm going to go with a local beer uh, today. I've had this one other time. It's a fairly new offering. Um, I've shown the... Uh, <clears throat> uh, reviewed beer from this company before this is a wisconsin brewing company guys uh fairly new brewery and this is their inaugural inaugural red it's a red lager uh comes in at five percent guys so we're gonna give this crack get this a crack uh, here's the of course the bottle cap Probably won't focus the way I wanted, but anyway, guys, we'll crack this open and <clears throat> see if we can pour this one halfway decent. And there we have it, guys. Um, and it's a it's a red lager. I mean, it's a fairly aggressive carbonation, uh, fairly clear. It is sort of an orangey red color, and about a one finger tan colored head, guys. So we'll give this a sniff. And it smells great. I don't know what it is with um, red, red lagers and red ales and that sort of thing. I always get, and it might be just me, I always get kind of a bubble gum sort of aroma for some reason. You know, on top of that, you definitely get some sweetness. It's very malty. I mean, this is a malty kind of a beer to begin with, so... You know, smells really good, guys, so cheers. Yeah, and it's good. It is a touch on the sweet side for my taste with red lagers, but, uh, you know, uh, the malt is great. It's got a bit of that kind of roasted malt thing going on but it's not it's not quite as dark as like a brown ale it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint you know it's certainly not a stout or anything it's it's fairly crisp it's refreshing it's got the lager characteristic but it's like uh, some slightly roasted malts I think is how they get these red lagers um you know, just a, a little bit of a bitter kick in the back. Um, you know, I mean, this is not a real ultra-sophisticated beer, but it is quite nice, and at, I believe, 5%. Yeah, five percent. Um, you know, you can session this all day long. You know, it's, it's, it's fresh, it's nice. Yeah, this one is hard to nail down. I've always had trouble with, even though I enjoy red lagers and red ales, generally speaking, I've always had trouble nailing down exactly the, the flavor profile on these guys. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, you get that nice, lightly roasted malt, a little bit of bitterness. Uh, like I said, this is just very smooth, very crisp. This is super easy to drink. It's not so dark that uh, you couldn't drink this on a hot summer day. It's still fine for that. So it's it's a nice beer. It isn't going to, you know, rock your world necessarily. But it's one I uh, tried one other time. This is a new offering from them, and I enjoyed it. So I wanted to pick up another bottle to do for review. So 
Once again, guys, this is Wisconsin Brewing Company's inaugural red lager. Um, and it's it's really good stuff. So um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's not rock star territory, but it's good. So 7 out of 10. So anyway, guys, I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll be back within the next couple days with another one. See ya.